Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBR Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrlabs.org. In this video, we will learn how to write a code in assembly language for 8051 microcontroller in Keel software. So, let's open Keel software. Uh, in the Kill software, this is Kill Micro version uh, 3, so it is mainly designed for 8051 uh, kind of microcontrollers. So the process starts here. First, go into the project. So we need to create a project first and create new microvision project. And <coughs> actually, it creates uh, a lot of uh, uh, temporary files. So Prior to making a project, uh, it is advised uh, so that we create uh, a folder by the name of uh, your work or your project test and within that folder, uh, you create the project. Let's say project 1. Now as soon as you create project 1, a uh, window pops up and in which you are asked to choose any microcontroller. Uh, there is a wide range of microcontroller which is supported by this one. So let's say we have Atmel 89C51. 89C52 and here it is 89C51. And yes. So after that, uh, you need to create a new file. So create a new file from this menu. And prior to writing a code, just first save this particular file because we want to write uh, the code uh, uh, in assembly language. So it is mandatory to save the file by the name .asm. Otherwise, by default, it will uh, save the file in C source directory. So you can write it in ASM and then save it. Once it is saved. And now you can uh, start writing your code but prior to running the code there are several processes as well we need to add this particular file uh, assembly source file into our project library uh, prior to only after that we will be able to compile it so go to the manage and in component environment and boxes go to add files uh, and add files there will be no match because right currently it is displaying C source file so change it to ASM source files and then select test.asm and add and then close so test.asm will appear here and then ok so once you do that uh, in order to verify it your source file which is being added to the project will appear here test.asm now, uh, generally, our uh, main objective of this writing a program or something on Keel is to generate a hex file so that we can further burn that particular hex file into a microcontroller. So, in order to make sure that uh, we generate a hex file out of it, go to project and options for target one. So in target one, uh, these are for the simulation purpose like we can define the megahertz clock frequency and all go to output tab and in output tab tick this create hex file and then ok now all the parts are done now you are ready to write your first assembly code in keel so let's write ok so its font is less let's say that we can increase the font size this one for configuration editor colors and font so okay size it seems like it is fixed okay yeah for asm source file font is this one okay so let's select 18 okay okay now it will be more visible so first of all as you know org 00h 
so there's one more thing like we are going right is uh, when we save the file in ASM so all the instruction changes color so, uh, and uh, whatever data is being written there in numerical or hexadecimal that comes in different color and next move a comma hash uh, a a h so this instruction will move a a into assembler and then let's write another instruction r0 into hash okay let's have a, a little uh, little confusing for you so let's say only 10 and I assume uh, you will know what will move into R0 if we just write 10 E and so it is decimal so let's say whether we are right or wrong to verify let's compile it so go into build target okay so undefined symbol here yeah. move hash a a h test undefined symbol this is our zero okay let's make it 20 h okay here uh, it was mandatory if uh, it should start with zero if all the characters are there then the command should be start with zero let's try it again okay so our file is being compiled and we have transferred the 20 in decimal to r0 and now we will see what actually going into r0 so once this is done now we can uh, check uh, into a code uh, where we have uh, created the project and hex file so hex file is being generated that means our code is done so prior to uh, programming or burning that hex file into the microcontroller uh, we can check whether uh, it is working fine or not or whether it is working as intended or not so that can be done by debugging section so you can uh, go into debug and then make it start stop debugging section and then ok so there are two options either you completely run it in once or step by step so for making a step by step and this is the step over command so if this first command is done that means your this instruction has been executed move a comma a a h so if you look here uh, in the system uh, option this is the assembler a register so the content of the register has been changed to 0 x a a now next and now this instruction has been executed and now it is uh, 0 x 1 4 so I know uh, so I hope you understand we have transferred this 20 but here it is going 0 x 1 4 so I hope you understand it why this uh, 0 x 1 4 is going there instead of 20 and what that signify, signifies so if you have any confusion uh, you can write command uh, you can write commands below this video and you can clarify your doubts so I hope uh, this is all uh, our basic steps to write a simple program in assembly language in Keel software. Your hex file has been generated, you have verified whatever you have done by this debugging section. You can stop it by start stop debugging. So everything as far as simulation is concerned is over. Now the next step comes to transfer that uh, generated hex file into the microcontroller and that can be done with the help of a good uh, programmer and so i hope you learned how to write assembly language program in keel software 48051 so that's it for this video thank you